Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. I got a fun project to share with you. I want to show you how I make this colorful stripe background with one sentiment. I'm using this long block sentiment from the Birthday Flowers stamp set. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this grid transparency sheet. This is also by Simon's Stamp. And it really, I love this grid transparency. It helps you to get your stamps perfectly straight, perfectly centered. I love it. I love it. I love it. So once I get everything aligned up, I stamp it with dull pink. Now, um, this is what's really great about using the Misty or whatever stamp positioner tool you have. You don't move your sentiment stamp. You just move your cardstock up. Now I settled on three eighths of an inch every time I bump up my cardstock by three eighths of an inch. Now, if you don't have a Misty or a stamp uh, positioner tool thingamajiggy, you can still do this. Uh, the old fashioned way, just with an acrylic block and you stamp it and you just got to make sure with, you know, your eye that you try to space it consistently and keep it centered consistency. But I will say that this Misty sure does make it effortless. And um, so anyway, I'm going in rainbow order. Like I said, you could easily customize this if you want to do more masculine colors or holidays, what have you, you know, whatever tickles your fancy, like I like to say. So. I am doing three eighths of an inch. Every time I stamp, I bump up my cardstock three eighths of an inch. And um, you kind of have to play around with that depending on the size of the stamp you're using and how much spacing you want. Now you can see here, I'm already bumped up all the way to the top, but no worries. You can go right over that lip and keep on going. It doesn't crease or bend or damage your panel in any way. And I love that that allows you to keep on stamping. I still have not moved my stamp, not one time. I think what really makes me giddy about this is the precision of it all. It's so perfectly straight, the spacing, it's all centered and it just gets me. Okay, so now we're gonna start um, embellishing and adding the sentiment. These are the Forget Me Not Flower Dyes by Simon's Stamp and I'm using lots of different colored cardstock trying to kind of tie in to the colors that I'm using in the background. When I do stuff like this, I have to die cut several different colors of flowers, different colors of the centers of the flowers until I, and then I lay it on my background, see if I'm liking how the colors are working together. I have to heavily edit my videos and cut out all the nonsense of me and my ridiculous decision-making contemplation. Is anybody else like that super indecisive and uh, just with choices of colors and layouts? I am. I'm the same way with my clothes when I have to get dressed. Not, not, not every day when around the house because that's just like gray with black pants. But when I go to church or somewhere, I mean, I'm changing my clothes 15 times. No joke. Can't decide. And even with cards. So I know a lot of people have a misconception with card makers. They think it may, maybe it looks like I've got it all together. Like I do not have it all together. Many times I'm banging my head against the wall trying to make color combinations work. Uh, trying to make a layout work so that I think that it it's good. You know, sometimes I just think you ever, I'm sure you do. Sometimes you make something and you're like, this is like not even pretty at all. And um, yeah, there's a lot of insecurities with card making. There really is. But I think it helps when you realize that everybody's in the same boat. Everybody shares the same insecurities. We're all just alike. And it's supposed to be fun. I think we, we're too hard on ourselves. We put too much pressure. And when you just kind of don't overthink it and just play and have fun, it's very therapeutic and enjoyable. Just got to not overthink it, right? Isn't that the key to a lot of things in life? Just don't overthink it. And there you have my little mini therapy session. <laughs> my, my, my mini little therapy session on card making and also getting dressed. Don't overthink it. I'm, I'm talking to myself. Okay, so now I'm adhering the card together using glossy accents, a little bit of foam tape on the back of the flowers, trying to like cluster everything together, tie it. I always try to frame the sentiment into the flowers so it all looks like it ties together. And then uh, let us not forget the tittle. Oh no, we've talked about this. The tittle is the dot on the eye. And uh, there was four of those tiny little tittles. Had to glue those with glossy accents. And now I'm going to do a coordinating sentiment. I'm going to emboss it in white on a strip of mint cardstock. 
This is from the Sending Happy Thoughts stamp set, which coordinates with that Sending Word die. And I'll pop that on there. And this card's just about finished, but I got to share my latest addiction. These Nuvo Jewel Drops by Tonic. These little doodads right here are my latest obsession. I can't get enough of them. The colors, they're scrumptious, scrum diddly umptious. They're a little bit translucent, which I love. And they dry to this shiny, perfectly round dome, little dome of happiness. And this card's finished. You gotta give this colorful background stamping technique a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me for my little therapy session. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.